Hi there, it's Paul from Marketing Jump Leads. I uh, hope wherever you find this uh, video, you're very well indeed. Um, just a really quick thought, lesson today uh, from something that happened to me over the weekend. Uh, now, some, some of you know, uh, one of the things that's sort of next on my bucket list is to buy a patch of land. Now, I, ideally I'd like some woodland, but I'm looking at a bit of field and just, just really somewhere to have some space. So I'm often on the lookout uh, for patches of land that are around and uh, you know, places that are for sale and that sort of thing. And I was out on the bike uh, Saturday afternoon and I saw just this lovely bit of land just down the road from where I live. Nice bit of grassland, loads of different things. Creative juices flowing, fantastic. Now I, uh, I uh, jumped on Monday morning, straight on, called the guys, called the estate agent that was selling it or the land agent that was selling it. And just really shocked by the service, even though I, I suppose I'm not a customer, I suppose I don't expect good service I suppose worryingly that's kind of where we've got to a society we don't expect it but I, I rang them to look you know I'm interested in this bit of land this is where it is and they said oh yeah it's been sold and sort of silence and I said oh okay well have, have you got any, any any more sort of similar things no I don't think so oh, I said well okay I mean could you roughly tell me what it was sold for and, and again silence uh, no no I don't think we can don't know uh, and then it was just silence. I just kind of stopped and waited, really. Uh, and it was just, just really weird. And that was it, really. You know, you know I'm, I'm a customer. I've called and asked for this thing that they, they're selling. Yes, it's sold. Yes, they'll definitely have more. At no point was there any proactivity to try and get me to buy, to go on their list, to be there in the future. You know, if someone came and rang me up and said, Paul, this is a thing I want to buy that you probably sell, I'd take every, as much detail as I could about them. Because one, it makes me look great, it makes me look like I actually care about the business, particularly if I've not got something to sell at that point. It makes me look like I care, but also it gives me the control of the conversation next time. So I can then go to this person that I know wants to buy this thing and say, I've now got this thing. And it was just really anno annoying for me, but really frustrating as a business owner as well. Uh, now, Conversely, what we did in the afternoon, we went to a, uh, a, a food fair on Sunday afternoon and as uh, just lo local to where we were, but what there was also there, there was a, a young people market, it's run by um, not city council, but it's a market where there are stalls run by people 16 and below. Uh, and, a, and a really good lesson, I sort of wandered up and down doing that very British thing of trying not to look at any stall in particular lest someone tried to sell me something. Uh, and lo and behold, a lovely young man popped out in front of me and just said, do you want to buy our lemonade? Well, yeah, I do, actually. I mean, I didn't know I wanted to, but actually the, the, the way that he came around, he was smiling, he was pleasant, and it cost me kind of, I don't know, 30, 50p for a couple of glasses of lemonade. And I guess the big lesson in all this is proactivity. You know, I was really impressed by the young guy that popped out and said, do you want to buy my stuff? And there's a big lesson that for all of us, you know, being proactive in business is massive. If we are sitting and waiting for people to come to us, we're often going to have a long wait. And if we're not trying to do anything about it, even if we can't sell anything at that point, if we're not trying to do anything about it when someone actually comes to you and says, I want to buy, well, you're going to be in some trouble. I think, you know, the big lesson from this for all of us today is be the guy that says, do you want to buy my stuff? Not always, not every day, not all the time, but you need to be proactive in your business. Without it, you're just sitting, you're waiting for something to happen, and that can be a long and very expensive wait.